What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Okay, there we go. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all, 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 y'all? Today, we have a special treat. Um, because, number one, my daughter's in studio. So, she's going to be doing the camera work. Manny is working from home. Manny... Uh, We'll be commenting from the Rage page. What's up, what's up? Superflu has been doing some good drawings. So today I have uh, Ruben Hickman on. Ruben is a, what's up Dante? Uh, Ruben is a ridiculously great artist, draftsman. Um, he's my best friend. Uh, he's a pain in the ass. No, he's incredible. He's the production designer on Bob's Burgers. And, um, he and I shared a living space together for years. Ruben's like, how do I join? I'm going to with him right now because he's, he's confused about everything. Ruben, go live with me. Okay, Manny, you got to help out Ruben because we're waiting for Ruben now. He doesn't know how to do anything. <laughs> you guys can hear me, right? You guys can hear me? Okay, so we're waiting for Ruben. I'm going to cancel that. What's up, Rod G? In the place to be? How you doing? Uh, so today, after Ruben... All right, Ruben, I'm going live with you right now. I'm trying to go live with you. You guys can hear me, correct? Dante, you can hear me, right? Ruben has to request to be live. I think Ruben's trying. I mean, we figured this out with uh, with Ron English. We could figure this out with Ruben Hickman. Come on, Ruben, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, we're on. See, what's up, baby? Hey. It works. Ruben has, Ruben has beautiful hair. Look at Ruben's hair. Hey. When, when you guys, when you guys. When you guys see his drawing and painting, you're definitely going to fall in love with him. But you might have already done it because you've fallen in love with his curly locks. And by the way, Ruben, this is my cameraman, Akira. I know her. <laughs> She's a badass. So, Ruben, it's really hard to uh, talk about our friendship because you and I have been friends for a very, very, very long, long time. Ruben and I took a drawing class together when I was 18 and you were 16, something like that, right? Tell, tell the story. Like that, yeah. Tell the story. I know you're way older than me, but I can't remember by how much. Yeah. Well, you look older, but it's weird. So it's confusing <laughs> to everybody out there. They're like, how is that possible? Blue looks so young. Yeah. So how, so we met at a drawing class and Ruben was like the only guy in the class who was really great. And we had a very long standing relationship. He actually told me about Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. I applied to, to get into the school. I got into the school and then Ruben joined me and then we became roommates and we became highly productive artists rooming together. And then eventually very competitive in the best way ever and pushed each other and now Ruben uh, is who he is. And Ruben, you started working first at Disney, right? Many years ago as a background painter. Uh, my first job in animation was, yeah, at Disney Feature Film, uh, background painting for Hercules. Um, and uh, did that for about a year. And then uh, got fired from Disney because I was still a pain in the ass. I hadn't, wasn't done being a punk. Yeah, Ruben is still, uh, Ruben's very rebellious. <laughs> yeah, I think they beat that out of me in the animation industry. But uh, yeah, that was in 95, not to reveal anything about my age. Okay. Uh, I'm 31. But 
obviously. I worked there for a year, but DreamWorks had just started, and I thought DreamWorks was the place to be. I was a kid who grew up on Spielberg movies, like everybody else in the 80s, and um, he had just started this company, and I was very excited to get over there. So I did, and um, I stayed at DreamWorks for 16 years. And then I left. And what movies did you work on? What movies did you work on at DreamWorks uh, as a as a background painter or as a visual concept artist? So I was a traditional background painter, meaning using actual paint to paint actual backgrounds. Okay. Uh, for about five years there, um, before we started to go digital, uh, and the movies were Prince of Egypt, uh, El Dorado. Uh, Spirit, the horse movie, uh, um, Spirit, <laughs> Stallion of the Cimarron, I think it's called, actually. Um, and that might have been it, actually. And then you worked at, but I mean, you did Hercules at Disney? Yeah, at Disney, I was on Hercules as a background painter. Okay. Um, so then, then when, uh, it, then you, then you moved to visual development with Shrek. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, so I moved to visual development with Shrek one. And um, then I stayed in visual development, basically a concept artist, uh, visual development artist for many, many years. Um, and worked on lots of things. Shrek one, Shrek two, Madagascar, um, Flushed Away, the B movie. I did a lot of pitches for movies that never got made, but I also worked on Megamind and uh, Let's see what else. And then you're um, really you're over you're you're not even talking about the fact that you worked on my TV show, so but yeah. whatever who cares. Um, Urbania on Comedy Central. Ruben was also the art director for that, and then Ruben is now it was the production designer on uh, SpongeBob, right? And then yeah. now currently Bob's Burgers, the feature. Right. Okay. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? You're in your you're in your studio. Can you just grab a sketch pad and show like any, any yeah, just, just check out his sketch pads, guys. It's been all right. So I so check, I just check out, just take a bed. little, just a, can you see take it? a glimpse into, yeah. Uh, Is that you got to go a little it? bit? Uh, can't really see. I could just cut off. Lower the camera, lower your oh, camera. Clearly, oh, let me see how to do terrible. it. Here. Let me try to figure this out. Maybe I'll hold it up to my, uh, so I can see it too. Thanks, Roger. I appreciate that, Roger Reader. Right. Happy Easter, everybody. Okay, this is Ruben's sketch pad. Oh, this sucks. I can't do this. Hold he, on. Uh, Ruben doesn't know how to do anything uh, technical, which is why he's such a great painter and he should stick to painting. Yeah. This, can you see anything, Jay? Yeah, right there. No, now not. How do you not just, you could flip the camera, Ruben. All you do is in the top left corner, you just flip the camera, see? Flip, flip. But on Instagram Live, how do you Yeah, you could still it? do it, same shit. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, there you go, I can see uh, it perfect though, right there. All right, there's a sketch. This is like, uh, you know, airports and places where I'm bored, I would sketch. It's very, all of a sudden it's very, uh, Manny, why is it so pixelated? Why do you think it's so pixelated? It looks okay to me. Is it just going over slow? There you go. Anyway, as you could see, Ruben is a, uh, he's got a lot of crazy, amazing sketches. It could get sexual any minute here. Just warning everybody, I keep a kind of an R rated, a hard R sketchbook, you might say. Hard R. Okay, cool. Uh, see, now I could see it. Keep, that's cool. So we get a glimpse into. Uh, it's a sushi chef. I think you might have been with me when I did this. Yeah, I, I have my own version of that drawing. <laughs> That's funny. There's the fish for those who want to see them. Yeah, it's cool. I like drawing sushi chefs for some reason. Maybe just because I Look at that. Look at that sushi. environment, guys. Okay, real fast. Look at that. That's kind of cool stuff that Ruben, Ruben does. Someone said, I love Ruben's work. Here, now. Oh, cool. There's a guy on his cell phone. Yeah, this is just like hanging out. Here's like a guy who looked like maybe he was in some kind of withdrawal from some sort of medication at a coffee shop. I don't know. Can you back that up a little there? That was at uh, Cycle Battle. Remember Cycle oh, Battle? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was with me. We used to sketch together there all the time, yeah. 
That's this cool. Guy, he just looked like he, I don't know what his face was doing, but he had seen better days. And then right next to him was this, this group here, probably. It seemed like they As were you can see, Ruben, Ruben draws, paints very, 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 very fast. Uh, no, he doesn't paint when he sees. He paints a lot out of his head and his imagination. Wait, what does that say? Man's got a what? Man controls nature. Oh, yeah. Not I don't any, know. Not anymore. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just screwing around. But uh, yeah, I draw out of my head a lot. I draw a lot of crazy stuff. I do. Let me see that one. Back that up. Back that up a little bit. That's cool. It's just like a dreamscape or something like that, you know. Uh, yeah. This isn't even that modern, but here's some a recent, rather. But yeah, Is I he... keep a sketchbook I always have. Justin and I have sketched together a lot. Um, and I think it's a very good practice. It's, it's for me, I'm not trying to keep it um, as some sort of great you know, a uh, showpiece that's more of my laboratory to experiment, to make mistakes. All you young artists out there, don't be afraid to try things that might completely fail. And that's what it's kind of what a sketchbook is for, if you ask me. Like that's why you see a lot of half thoughts in here is because I didn't, didn't think it was working out. Um, it's a, it's a and, little, uh, it's a visual diary. That's right. And I'm sort of a compulsive doodler. I notice there's like different kinds of artists. No, stop stop on that one, back out on that one. Go back, go back, go back. There's another restaurant scene of some kind. Uh, I don't know what happened to that one. Okay, so Ruben, right now you and I are going to, um, we're going to do a drawing on camera together for your guys' entertainment. There's that one. Look at that, guys. That's just out of his head, just messing around, Ruben. Ruben is, a, is, is, I would say, as much as I love your drawings, I would say you're a hell of a, you're even a better painter. Would you say that about yourself? Well, yeah, I'm uh, known more as a as a colorist and a painter for sure in the industry. And you know, if people hire me; um, they do hire me for for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but everybody in animation animation tends to be a industry of specialists. Um, I'm a little bit less of that than some people, but um, you know, a little bit more of a would rather do multiple things, but um, definitely known more as a color and light guy than a design and drawing guy. Cool. Yes. Okay, who cares? No, I'm kidding. That's great. You're, thank right, you. that got boring fast. Yeah, wow. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I took a nap, <laughs> I took I a nap during the latter part of that. No, but now, <laughs> Ruben, can you hold, it, uh, is it possible, because I guess since you're going to be moving. I'll try it. You want me to try to we're gonna so Ruben and I so, okay, so Ruben and I are going to draw fucked up portraits of each other. That's going to be our first assignment. Because as you can see, Ruben is incredibly handsome, and I'm going to do a, a a fucked up portrait of him. And as you can see, obviously I'm a supermodel, so we're going to he's going to do a fucked up portrait of me. We're just prepping ourselves for the worst. Yeah. We've done this for years. It's a kind of a tradition. Those who maybe want to get into animation you should be prepared for really vicious drawings of yourself. And each other. Uh, this is, yeah, the, there's no, there, this is, I know you guys watch the battle between Primo and Riza, and that was very nice. This is not nice. This is not going to be nice. I don't know how to get this. So I got to get it somehow to show my page, huh? Yeah, well, I have. Can I make it horizontal or no? No. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna try something. Made it horizontal. I guess you could make it horizontal. All right. And so, you Ruben, I guess every once in every once in a while, I should. Uh, you should look into the camera, right? Or I should look into the camera, or we're just doing it based on. I don't know what people want to see. Do people want to see me draw? Yeah, no, we're, you're gonna draw. You're gonna draw me. Silver locks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw you. Okay, but can you hold the camera now? Akira's messing with my knife. That's actually mine. You can oh. see my board, okay, though, right? Yeah, I see it great. And you feel okay. All right, this is my cutoff point right here. I see. I won't draw below that line. 
I feel like Exciting. I also could paint. Do people rather see me paint? Uh, I don't know. It's up to people. What do you guys say? Oh. Should I try it? Hold on one sec. I can't believe I can set up faster than you did. What's going on with this? I'm not following. It's called Rain oh, Stress and Brush. I don't paint traditionally much anymore, but I could give it a go. Okay. Sorry, dude. Um, uh, and then you could just zoom in on... See, I can't... Someone says paint. All right. I'll try it. Let me see. I'm drawing with two hands, Ruben, because as you know, that's what I like to do. Say again, dude. I'm drawing with two hands right now. Holy crap. Well, don't don't feel pressure to do that because you can't. I don't want I don't you to feel. I don't All want right, here, there's feel. a board. I'm going to paint. I can't he's pa he's like. painting me? Oh, God. Okay, I'm drawing a really beautiful drawing of you right now. Just imagine okay. this crystal. I'm going to get my paper wet just to make it more of a mess for you guys. That's hot. That's hot. Let's see. So now it's going to be very drippy. Well, it should be good. That's hot. That's also hot. Right. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Ruben's eyes sit in a cavity like this. And uh, is a little Greek. He has a very Greekness to him. And as you can see, a lot of this is out of my imagination because he's not looking into the camera as he shouldn't because he's also doing a fucked up painting of me thank you so I'm much i'm very easy to draw so shouldn't be a problem <laughs> that's a that was kind of a, a jab wasn't that guys yeah, that's like, a way to oh, set up for success for me that's anybody could draw me type yeah of i'm i'm so easy to draw i'm easier to draw than you are because oh, i have giant Akira, how am I doing so far? Good. Uh, does Ruben have bags? Um, I don't and think I'm looking does. at. I'm also stopping just to see what you're doing because the more fucked up you make it, then I'm going to yeah. get eight thousand times more fucked I'm up. I'm used to you having more hair than you do right now. I'm sorry. Like you are right now. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll do you like kind of how you are now because you usually have more hair than that. I shaved it. I I was I was ready for a new. Millennium. That's your COVID look. That's right. I'm getting, you know, you got to like, it's hunger games in this motherfucker. Ruben, do you have, can I see one thing? Do you have a, a, a... Oh, I went too low on your chin. It went out of frame. Is that all right with everybody? <laughs> hey, do you have a, yeah, it's my daughter on camera. My daughter is running the show. Ruben, let me see your mustache real fast because right now this doesn't look like you. Just look into the camera for two seconds, can you? Or if you can't, don't. I don't want anybody to think I wear glasses. There you go. Huh? Okay, look cool. Nice oh, actor yeah. Look. Yeah, it's look. There's the big. classic actor at a bar look. Hey, you don't know how much pain it is to be brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's the definitely, yeah. Give me that look. That's the look I want. The genius, the pain of genius. I don't really think I'm genius, by the way, just for anybody out there who. But he is a genius. That's genius. the irony. Not at all. But oh, that's, that's a lie. I've worked hard. That much I can say is true. I gave you a small nose, which isn't necessarily true. Really? You have a very normal nose. You have a very <laughs> abnormal disposition. <laughs> you have an abnormal face, but in a great way. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, when I first met Justin, he was a hip hop kid and I was a punk rocker. And he came to my area because his mom had moved from, he grew up in New York, as you guys all know, but I lived in north of San Francisco in this little area. And we would go into the city, San Francisco, and go to punk shows and stuff. And he was a hip hop kid. And he was like, hey, man, let's hang out. Like, where do you meet girls around here? 
And I was like, yeah, cool, man. You should come with me. Just change those parachute pants and we'll hit the clubs. <laughs> uh, and the rest was history. Uh, All right, so now I'm going to put half tones in, everybody. These are called half tones. Everybody knows okay, and I'm going to put in uh, Ruben's very small ears, everybody. These are called very small ears. Yeah. He has really small ears. But we had a lot of fun. Justin got to see the entire early, the Bay Area punk scene of the 80s with, you know, yeah. Primus and Green Day and all those great bands when I was hanging out and trying to be a skater. I was a crap skater, and that's why I stuck with art. Um, but I did do a lot of uh, skateboards for the Plan B and other companies and yep. Justin and I both did skateboards so he kind of entered my world a little bit with the uh, the punk skate world but yep. um, and I got to see a little bit of his hip-hop universe as well which was really cool it was a really cool crossing of uh sort of street cultures that bubbled up from a very real thing you know so I thought that was cool That's What makes Ruben? All right, I don't know if I gave you no eyes. I hope that's okay with you, but we'll figure I, that I, out. It's okay. People think I, I gave mean, you no eyes, but it's got to be black and white. I'm not really putting town in. Guys, what is everybody thinking of my Ruben so far now that you know how he looks so intimately? If this was like two years ago, I would have had to give you a black beard, but now I have to give you like a gray and black beard. I right, know, it's, it's weird how fast it happens. It just happens so fast. Are you wearing a shirt? You're wearing a shirt, right? No, I'm shirtless, always. I paint better shirtless. Uh, all young artists out there, you probably know that if you haven't heard that yet, you're definitely a little better shirtless when you paint. Yeah, I've heard that. And pants don't help either. If you, uh, they're not helpful. Yeah, Ruben and I have a a wonderful report. This is almost a classically beautiful painting right now, drawing that I'm doing of you. You're welcome in advance. Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't say mine's the same. Mine looks like a Kokoschka or a de Kooning. Uh, Alex from Chocolate says I've been wearing clothes, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably uh, a, a huge disadvantage. Yeah, it kind of confines you, you know, confines the movement of the brush. Yeah, because right, so, it, uh, when you're working uh, during COVID, you're by yourself. So usually it's a yeah. good time. I mean, when I'm with Manny, I'm definitely wearing, I'm shirtless. <laughs> you walk into an animation studio, the first thing you'll notice is everybody's buck naked. It's crazy. And you'll say to yourself, what the hell? But then you get used to it. Yeah. It's like a nudist colony. <laughs> it really is. Okay, no, cool. of course it's nothing like that. And uh, in fact, it's uh, very conservative. More appropriate than ever at this point, which is certainly a good thing. Now, Ruben, Honestly. are you working on Bob's Burgers from home now? Are you? Yes. Are you the, he is the production designer on Bob's Burgers, the feature. And can you tell us any secrets? Not at all, right? Not even close. How I can't far tell you any there? secrets, but right. I can tell you that it's a lot of fun. It's going to be an amazing movie. Uh, we're trying to add to the style in a way that respects the uh, the initial style of the of the show, of course, but somehow gives it a little bit more, you know, dimension, power, punch, maybe, um, and uh, a little bit more detail. And it's been fun. Um, I'm going to fix your eyes at the end here. I know everybody's thinking these eyes are messed up. I'll get to it. Uh, if you need me yes. for reference, I'm actually right here. I'm trying to do your head like it's melting. And it certainly seems to be working out for me. <laughs> uh, have you both been influenced each other's work? Absolutely. Ruben has completely influenced my work. And I've definitely influenced his work if I do say so myself. Have I influenced your work, Ruben? I, am I yeah, you that? have. Okay. Absolutely. We, uh, I think it's that punk rock, hip hop crossover thing. Like, um, the punk rock had its own kind of do it yourself way of, um, of making art, you know, and it was very cool, sort of influenced by, um, 
flyer art, you know, and album cover art, skateboard art, uh, tattoo art, and uh, hip hop, many things similar, but it had that graffiti element, which uh, eventually became something I really loved. And Justin and I, of course, we did a TV show together that uh, never saw air, unfortunately, Urbania. And um, we discussed quite a bit what it should be like. And it was Justin's show, so it had to be, you know, his kind of aesthetic, which was a lot more hip hop than mine. And so um, I really w uh, grew to love and appreciate uh, the uh, all aspects of hip hop culture, but uh, I really made a good study, I think, at some point of the art part of it, graffiti. And... So I will say yes. that, um, you know, Ruben, Ruben uh, was able to not only teach me um, about certain animation techniques, so it was, I was influenced by his work, but I think also you have to understand that while Ruben was going to work and we were hanging out, he was coming back with techniques that he was learning from animation that a lot of illustrators and artists never had. For example, the wet, into, the wet into wet airbrush technique and stuff like that. And so uh, that's an important thing to say because a lot of my technique, just the actual principles of the way that I lay stuff down come from Ruben, Ruben gathering the knowledge and then disseminating it to me in our private sessions. And on top of that, uh, giving me a tremendous amount of brushes and paint that he stole from animation. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense, that he gave uh, That he gave me, that he gave me. All right. I don't think this looks anything like Okay, it. I'm Sorry, giving your hair in. What's that? I'm getting, I'm getting Ruben's hair in. And by the way, this is just one of a couple of things we're going to be doing together here. Ruben, I have the, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to get this going. I have you looking very, are your eyes are. I think my paint got too wet for me here, so I might have to let it dry for me. That's a, are you painting on a, the back of a, a cardboard? No, I'm painting on a, this stuff I like a lot. It's a Reeves BFK. You remember that? It's a, it's a printing paper. Um, it's Italian cold press printing paper for uh, printmaking. Um, very old company, I think. Um, very good stuff to paint on, but it's very absorbent. So sometimes it's too absorbent. It kind of sucks your color in, and you have to go over it. But um, so it's a little bit like a chipboard, right? Uh, it's more like really thick paper okay yeah. i i'm running out of paper and i'm gonna have to go get some and i'm just wondering what should i do should i just order online what do you where are you getting your supplies i'm not buying supplies again you know of course i'm mostly digital. oh you're working digitally yeah i know yeah ruben and i also worked on no, ruben and i worked on so many different projects together oh how do i do this Oh, that's me. I just said hello as Rage Against Justin. Okay. Are people enjoying this? I don't know what's going on. Hey, everybody loves awesome paper to work with. I love it, man. Still racking. So you two for one education. Sheesh, this is amazing. This is the best thing ever. Great interpretations of each other. How have you, have you guys made love together? Yes, we have. No, we, they didn't say that. But <laughs> they said, um, I'm reading it. That we're interpreting each other without even looking at each other. That's how good we are. Now, listen, we are a little bit more in my world. If we start to do like some stuff like digitally with Ruben, then, then we're in the, the digital world, not the analog world. We're out of my world. So this is all uh, I'm kind of having not an advantage, but like I'm in a comfortable space as opposed to if I went into his world, it'd be uncomfortable. Although I've been getting better, Ruben, at procreate. And I have to do, you have to teach me, um, do you, you have to teach me, uh, because I got the Adobe suite and you got to teach me about that. And I know your time is, you don't have much time. We'll but, try to work uh, out something, some kind of deal. It'll be monetary, of course. No, it will not be monetary. It'll be, this is what he does to me. He <laughs> tries to just take my fucking money. This is, this is, 
you are lucky to be with hanging out with me and that you would love to do it with me. <laughs> no, yeah, sure. I'm always uh He's a fucking taker. I enjoy uh helping. No, Ruben's learn. incredible. Ruben and I have worked on so many uh so many projects together, by the way. So this is just one of many. And Ruben's got me, Ruben got me my job at USC. As yeah, many jobs as I've gotten Ruben, he's gotten me my jobs. At USC, I became, he, he was a professor. He just kind of handed it off to me. That was a mistake uh, for all of us. But it was uh, fun. Worked out fine. It was great. And then uh, we worked together on my TV show and just a million other commercial projects. And we worked, uh, we did a lot of, we always just work together. And when we get together, I, we draw a lot. It's great. Good energy. Maybe I'll light the, I kind of have it coming in. I got a couple of your curls. Might change the angle a lot. I don't know. I Should feel I like one of his one? curls comes down like Michael Jackson in front of him like that. What do you think, Akira? Yeah. Like this, like, woo-hoo-hoo. It's kind of a mess here. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'll clean up the side edge. Don't forget to give me a gray beard. That'll sell that piece right there. Oh, do you have a gray beard right now? Yeah, look. Take a look at me real fast. Uh, try to yeah, just, yeah. like try to just kind of cut out the supermodel good looks and just go for the nastiness. Okay, that should be easy. Uh, Let's see. And don't forget to make me bald. I don't know why you're giving me your hair. You had hair when I did it. Yo, that was last week. Things have changed. I, know, I saw you last. <laughs> Things have changed. Recently. That was COVID. That was pre that was pre COVID. Now I'm. Post. Post COVID. I'm post COVID. Post COVID, yeah. We're post -co. all post COVID out. And if you guys have any questions to ask, uh, are we going to auction these off? Yes, we are. Pop, pop. It's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be no fucking joke what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, donate Ruben's mine got some too. Pretty, uh, Ruben's got some pretty deep eye sockets here. Donate mine to Manny's charity. This is obscured. Like, mine is not really. Well, I gotta get the rest of your hair. Help. Stop talking to me. I'm drawing the rest of your hair. Fuck. I'll do my likeness of me off to the side, just so you know that I'm easy. All you really need to do, here's a portrait of me for you guys, just so there's no mistakes. All you have to do is one of these. No one, one can see these, what you're doing. One of these, and then this. What does he That's see? Me. One of these, one of these. How did you get... Oh, you, I see. That's me. Yeah. And you're done. <laughs> That's good. But I'm spending a lot of time on this, okay? Okay. And this is beautiful. And I, I, will, I will sell this portrait of Ruben. It might be a premium. And you know what? You'd be lucky to have a portrait of Ruben because he's a, an important artist. And... Uh, in my opinion, well, one of the one of the best artists we have alive. You haven't even That's seen what he can do, and uh, right now he's just having fun. But boy, when you sit down with him, it's dangerous. It's nastiness. It's incredible. It's really well, it's very nice too. of you. But you should know. I want to say that if I can, the uh, in the animation industry is full of incredibly talented people. Yeah, I don't. Think but nobody's. The, but there's so many by people. By any means, are, hold on. Can I finish? By any means, uh. You know, there, I know people who are decidedly better than me. Um, although there's not many, thank you. But I know them. And uh, But it's it relative, happens. right? That's a relative term. Like, what, that, that, you know. Yeah. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think I'm fine. I'm well-rounded. Um, but there's just some unbelievable people. And some of them are who would, who would you like to? Who would you say uh, is, is unbelievable? Who would you like to shout out? Oh, I have a bunch of friends who are. Like, like who? Uh, Who's unbelievable? Oh, I'll throw out. Um, but don't do it just because they're watching right now. But who else? I don't know if they're watching. Uh, Craig Mullins is incredible. Yeah, he's incredible for sure. Um, but he wasn't on your list. 
My friend Scott Wills is, is pretty unbelievable. He's very, uh, very creative, Scott, right? He's just got a style and a sensibility and a taste and a, and a, and a craftsmanship that's kind of unparalleled. Um, eh, who else? Um, lots of people, man. It's too boggling to imagine. Uh, um, Chuck Close. Someone said Chuck Close. Chuck Close is a fine art painter. And yeah. Animation. There's guys that don't have any presence. Maybe I'll push them more. There's guys that don't have any online presence at all that are incredible. Like there's a painter that I learned a lot from named Xiaoping Wei. Oh, that guy's uh, a beast. Yeah, DreamWorks. Uh, there's um, Paul the same. My friend uh, Nathan Fouts is pretty, pretty good online. I think presence. everybody knows Nathan though. Nathan's incredible. Yeah, everybody knows Nathan. He's amazing. He's one of the best color and light guys in the industry, I think. Uh, For sure. Nathan, you gotta come on. Scott. I'm gonna get Nathan on the show and we're gonna get crazy with Nathan. Yeah, and uh, Mike Fernandez, everybody knows Might not be as like, entertaining as you, I've heard that from. Isn't he? He's amazing uh, and tall, um, taller than me, which is a little upsetting. Uh, and that's about it. No, I'm kidding. There's a whole bunch more people. Uh, my friend Tiani Han. You remember him? He's incredible. Tiani's uh, great. Uh, Love Tiani. Rippy Ron Ryan. Yeah, and uh, he has almost no online presence, and he should. He's an amazing oil painter. Uh, Jennifer McChristensen, our mutual friend. Incredible. Oh, Jennifer is maybe the best, the best plain air painter in the world, I think. Yeah, I'll push my friends while I'm doing this. Uh, Cameron Scott Davis. Great. Cameron's great. Got to get Aaron Cameron on the show, too. Um, I got some people working for me right now that are fantastic at Bob's Burgers. But um, I'll let them promote themselves at this point in their careers. <laughs> oh. They're all great. Okay, guys. I got a really so, good team. Uh, don't forget to give me my goatee before you, you wrap it up. Okay, here we go. Because this doesn't even look like you. This looks like some alien super, like, uh, it looks like a, it looks like a fashionable lesbian from the Lower East Side. Well, that's kind of how I look. So that's maybe not that's too kind of the look you've always been going for. Let's say. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, let's see here. Hey guys, how's my Ruben going? Can you comment on my Ruben? And did I knock it out of the park or what with him? Ruben, take a look into the camera. Yeah, it's good. You got it. Man, did I nail you. Guys, Nathan's last name is Fowkes. I think it's F-O-W-K-E-S. Right? F-O-W-K-S? So. Hey, Greg36, did I, uh, I hit a home run? And Ornum says... Oh, Ornum says... Uh, okay, Juno Me says... Dope, brilliant. Someone says, I made you look Tom Selleck-ish, which is a very big compliment to you. Uh, nailed it. Ivan said, I nailed it. Someone else said, damn, that's good. So, guys, basically, for the most part, I crushed it. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, I crushed it. This is Ruben. Ruben, look into the camera real fast. No. That is... uh, look at that. You like that? Yeah, it's good. Uh, those wide angle lens. But Looks, you are um, basically a wide angle lens face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I look Mexican, but I find that a compliment. You certainly do. Okay, there you go. That looks just like me now, guys. Look at that. That looks like oh, me. I look a little more Latin. Look at that. That's good. Like here, check it out. It's starting to look pretty good. Give it like a really hot highlight on the uh, on the nose, maybe. All right. Well, you know what? What's up with what nose? Ruben's or, or mine? Hula Hoop Club. Who are you talking about? His or mine? What's up, Johnny Utah? Johnny Utah is a good painter, too. Look at the portrait I just did of Ruben, Johnny. Do you like it? And look at the portrait he's doing of me. you damn right Ruben is incredible. What's important? Well, what we're doing is important? Yeah, he looks like Shia LaBeouf. I made him, I made Ruben, 
Oh, that mine is important? Well, that's nice. My painting of you, my drawing of you is important. How about that, Ruben? Good deal. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna have to erase. Can I erase? Happy, happy Easter back at you, Johnny. Special shout out to my really hardcore, wonderful. I'm gonna uh, lose an edge here. Die hard followers. Um, let's just watch Ruben paint a little bit while I. Um, but whose nose is too big, Ruben? Are you crazy? Look at that. I scaled his nose down from real life. See yeah, that? I got a big nose. It's been broken twice, too, in the, in the mosh pit. Yeah, it's, it's been broken times. in the mosh pit when he was yeah. fighting. <laughs> I don't uh, call mosh pits anymore, just to be clear. Wait, you're going for Ruben's? Uh, 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 someone said they're going for Ruben's uh, follower. Yeah, follow Ruben. You should follow Ruben. If you want to know what good painting is, follow Ruben. I thank you for anybody who wants to follow me. Um, so, yeah, my special shout out to Do You Know Me. Catch. Special shout out to Sal Freckles. Special shout out to uh, Scotsman, Johnny Utah, Artist Jet, Eat Digestive Sounds. Hey, Eat Digestive Sounds, are you making a beat for the, the intro of Rage Against the Brush? I think that you were making a beat for that. Hey, Ruben, if you could lose the right, not to, not to kill your own drawing, but if you could just block out that painting that you did of you, and then you could, yeah, and then you could push really, you could push light all over on that, on that left side. That might be. Don't you want me to keep the painting of me? No, you can. Yeah, that might be smart. Just keep that. Everyone should follow Ruben. His name is Ruben Hickman. He is the production designer on Bob's Burgers. He is a very, very, very talented uh, uh, man. And he's my best friend also. Of all my friends in the world, I would say Ruben is number one. Sometimes he falls to three, but most of the time he's number <laughs> one. Dustin and I have been through, yeah, kind of everything together, sort of uh, brothers in, in many different aspects of life you know from work to craziness to everything even hey, running from the cops at some point in our younger years I'm and sure. being yeah and being and being handcuffed by the cops at many points so guys um are you what do you mean ruben painted a campaign poster yeah Hope. for what hey ruben make me bald though i mean you you got me with hair here look at like, let's get it. Cause you got, I gotta push the thing back because you can't see. Okay, no, I could see. I, there's my drawing of Ruben. Well, I hope you okay. own a piece from me one day. You gotta own a piece from me. I'm only doing a certain amount of pieces, and then I'm Dunzio okay. on the onesio. There you go. That's now he's losing my hair, which is what he should do. I'm not doing anything to you anymore. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Akira, can you get this while I sign it? Did I stop painting. No, no, keep painting. Keep painting, it's fine. We have we're we're I'm gonna sign mine here. Uh Bua. And this is called Ruben. That's the title of this piece. It's an E N by the way. And it's twenty twenty. And this goes in my uh, collection. Thank you. It's me ash. It's me ash. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I was trying to get all like Hebrew. It's me ash. But it's me ash, right? Okay, I got it. Uh, you used to see my copies in Target. Yes, you did. They're all, they're all over the world, bootlegged everywhere. Uh, my paintings. Uh, we right now are watching. You have the eight, the uh, Tribe Called Quest piece. Thank you so much. R Ruben Lawrence loves what you're painting. Someone said that to you, Ruben. Oh, right on. Same name? Yeah, I guess so. It's a good name. 
Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to, right? since we only have uh, 10 more minutes on this, we're just going to do this. And next time, Ruben, well, we're going to. You want me to do something else? I, got, I can do the, see how fast I can do something. How about that? Okay, let's go. Let's go real fast, guys. Okay, so let's do an animal. Any suggestions of animals we should do, guys? Any suggestions, Manny, of animals we should do? Anybody? Quickly. Manny. Lion. Someone said a lion. Hold on. Rhino. Uh, I just did a rhino for something. Why don't you just do like, why don't you do a, uh, I guess Manny is not, okay, Manny says elephant. Why don't you do an elephant? And Manny, what should I do? Manny, what should I do? If, if Ruben does an elephant, what should I do, I'm Manny? An Can you do an elephant real fast? We've only got 10 yeah, right? minutes. We got an elephant. Where are you going? How fast? Elephant, hold on. Let me draw something real fast. Okay. Manny is gone. Manny is not uh, commenting anymore. He's on some other thing. Um, Manny's on what we know as drugs. Yeah. Bunny rabbit. I'm going to just. How about you just do the opposite of an elephant? What's the opposite? A rat? That's what Manny yeah, said. Okay, okay, rat. I'll do a rat. Okay, ready, guys? I'm going to take. Hold on. Say goodbye to my Reuben drawing. Say goodbye to my Reuben drawing. Bye bye, Reuben. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to move this and get a little closer in on it. You guys see anything I'm doing? You can't, huh? All right, I'm going to have to move back, I think. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes. This thing doesn't get any lower. Just get higher. Guys, if we if we get cut off, yeah. I love you guys, I love all y'all. Oh, by the way, guys, I will be on at one o'clock with Charlie Tuna from Jurassic Five, also from Ozo Motley. Um, I think I messed up. Am I allowed to start over? Just keep going. No, just keep going. Right. No, we're this. We're, we're gonna have very little time. Or, right. or you could start. You, you want to start over? You start over, I'll start over. It's fine. Go. Does it look too messed up? No, it's fine. I, I am drawing on tracing paper, which I hate. All right, I'll keep going. Oh, you're going to keep going. I was going to keep going then, too. Shadow, sorry, making a mess now. That's okay. I should next time I'll paint. I should describe what I'm doing, but I can't do it and paint at the same time. Next time I'll try to get. Don't worry paint. about it. Let's just keep going. Go for speed. Here's my rat, guys. wanted a rat i'll give you a fucking rat <laughs> Fuck. sometimes you have to be angry to motivate yourself yes you do guess what guys my rat 
and smoking a joint. What do you think, Akira? That's great. My I'm elephant Ruben. is hanging out. Hey, Ruben, I can't see anything that you're doing. You know that, right? Oh, shit. Can you see now? No, you're blocking it. Now, though? Now I can see. All right, sorry, everybody. That's okay. Don't do it again. <laughs> you guys can see this shit, right? Or no? Is this okay, Gary? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm hurrying, guys. He's on a light. By the way, here. This is his home. Someone said this looks like a rat thief. I could see that. And if we get cut off, guys, just know, uh, first of all, that you need to follow Ruben, number one, because he's the, he's the man with the plan. Uh, number two, he's my best friend, but I'm not just saying that because he's my best friend. I'm saying that because I feel like he's a very great uh, artist, wonderful person, sometimes. Not, not always. It's, it can be really <laughs> shitty. He does shitty things. Not what? Perfect, shitty things. No, I'm kidding. He's great. Um, and uh, Ruben uh, is really fun to draw with to our, our whole relationship is predicated on drawing and uh just blocking that into shadow elephant rat here's my rat guys does mine look like an elephant yet to anybody? Yeah, it does. You dirty rat. Yeah, I love that. Junomi said this looks like uh, Joe Pesci, my rat. Ruben, when you have a get, when you get a chance, uh, you could look at my rat too. Yeah, your rat looks good. I like him. Yeah, I could have done that. Maybe I could have done a messed up character uh, elephant, but. Oh, uh, it's okay. I mean, I don't know how to draw a rat. That's why I'm doing a boo rat. <laughs> right. I don't really know how to draw an elephant. I've drawn elephants before, and I'm working from memory right now, but uh, I probably would have done well to look at some reference, because I gave them no tests, I've noticed. So just, let's just say some elephants don't have tests. I think that's true. Maybe females? Is that true? Akira? No idea. Jeez, I thought Kira was an elephant expert, but I was wrong. There's a penis here. Because rats have penises too. Not all of them. Hmm. Interesting. Very sexist to assume that all rats have penises. Well, not all, but the males do. What's wrong with you? I knew a rat had no penis. I don't believe it. Hold on. My uh, elephant has no penis because my elephant, I think, is a female because she has no tusks. Okay, look, there it is, and that's the joint. Oh, and the smoke's coming up. Why Why am I always doing a joint? Okay. You're an advocate. I'm an advocate of weed. This is true. Um, he's kind of in his shadow. It's all in shadow here. There you Did go. Guys, I'm going to sign this one. I did this pretty fast. Bua, and I'm going to call it the rat. And I will say 20, 20, 
and if you really wanted to paint it, this would all go soft edge. All of the fur would be soft edge, and all of this would be silhouetted and blocked and grouped into one shape down here, except his penis would be another shape like that. I got to put high grass because elephants live in, this elephant in particular lives in grassland like a normal elephant, unlike your rat, which lives at the local weed store. Hey guys, I am a savage. You're right about that. When I draw, it's always savage land. I don't mess around. I'll go hard. I'll go realistic. I'll go photographic. I'll go caricature. I don't care. I'm a real artist. I don't fuck around. You're right. When you say I'm a savage, I appreciate that. Because uh, I, on the other hand, do fuck around. Ruben is a savage. Ruben's a real deal savage. You go to you you draw a group and you better have your A game. Once again, I am surrounded by unbelievable talent, so it's just kind of a normal day for me to see lots of. Uh, That's right, normal day for Ruben. Yeah, so it's like, uh, I mean, Justin being one of those greatly talented people. Yeah, so fucking right, man. Just kidding. But uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, if you work in like some place like the animation industry, it's great for keeping you modest. You just can't think you're that great. That's right. Got to got to be got to be humble. A lot of good people. Okay, guys. That's it. I think we're going to get cut off. So, Ruben? Okay. That's my rat. Ruben, can you look at my rat, please? Pay attention to me for a minute. He looks great. I love him. Thanks, bro. Let me see yours. Elephant looks amazing. Yeah, you like him? Yeah, I really do. I think he's really good. Like, cool. really. All right. Yeah, well, like the skin. The skin. I suppose I could keep going. The skin is good. If you guys love this, yeah, Ruben, let yeah. me just see your. I'm gonna. We're gonna get cut off in a minute. So, so come on right now. Someone said I got five okay. minutes. How do you know? It's an hour, but I started. Oh, I got two minutes. Guys. Ruben did a great job. Look how great he is. And he painted that that fast. You guys should do it with your friends, for sure. All right, I'm jumping on with, uh, with you. You know what I should do? I should brush my hair out and do like uh, Bob Ross for you guys, huh? No. Thanks. So. Let's, no, no, don't do that. You're Ruben Hickman and you're not Bob Ross. You're, you're, you're a wonderful artist, you're a great friend. Thank you for joining us. But I've always Rage. wanted to be Bob Ross. Who doesn't? Rage against the brush, everybody. Rage against the brush with me and Ruben today. I'll see you guys at 1 o'clock. I got Charlie Tuna from Jurassic 5, Ozo Motley. And at 2 o'clock, I'm going to go on Atheon Crockett's feed on his feed. Now, maybe I'll do a drawing with Atheon. But um, someone said we are the Jordan and Kobe of painting. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I'm more. Well, I'm more Jordan. Okay, yeah. guys. Uh, I'm more of a Ron Harper. If you want to know the truth, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's good. I'm Luke Longley then. All right, guys. <laughs> take it All easy. right. Love you, brother. Take Thank care. you. That was yeah. amazing, dude. You're incredible. Oh, you too, man. That was fun. You're awesome. That was great. Peace. All right. Peace. Take peace, care. Peace, Bye. Peace. Bye.